you can also add offset outlines to designs. These are outlines that are not right at the edge of the object, but offset a given distance from the object. First, select the objects, and then go to Outlines and Offsets. Again, notice that the software remembered my last outline. I'm going to uncheck Object Outlines and check Offset Outlines. You have some decisions to make. First of all, we have to determine how far you want the offsets from the object. For this design, I'm going to select two millimeters. Now, since I'm in inches, I can type in MM and the software will calculate that amount in inches. As far as offset count, let's do three offsets. Let's do a triple stitch and use the color black. There are two choices for multiple objects with offsets. The first is going to add outlines all around the selected objects. So you can see all the outlines go all the way around both of the objects. I'll add offset outlines to this second group, only this time I'm going to choose the common outlines. When I click OK, in this case, the common outlines only add outlines around the border of the two objects. For this rectangle, let's add a negative offset as well as an outline right on the object. First, select the object, go to Outlines and Offsets. I'll leave my offset values the same here, except I'm going to do a negative number in front of the offset amount. I'll also check object outlines, change this to a single black border, and click OK. And when I scroll in, you can see that there's an outline placed right on the edge in addition to the three outlines within the object. That has occurred because of the negative offset value. There are also different ways to treat the corners of the offset outline. So let's try these next. I'll select this first one, go back to Outlines and Offsets. I'm going to uncheck Object Outlines and then change this back to a positive value. Select the rounded corner and click OK. And as you can see, as the outlines are formed, the corners are rounded. With this next one, I'll keep the values the same, except I'm going to have pointed corners. And there's one more, and this is called cut sharp corners. With this type of offset outline, it will cut any acute angle so that it won't get too pointy at the corners. If you're going to add outlines or offset outlines around an object that has a hole in it, such as a letter, you'll want to make sure that Include Holes is checked. When I click OK, outlines are added both within the letter as well as outside the letter.